In this video tutorial, we're going to take a look at GoLive's site window. And GoLive's site window is a very essential thing in GoLive. So if you're a beginner and you don't know what the, the site window is, excuse me, um, or how to use it, you really, really, really need to know this. And uh, hey, people that are more advanced than GoLive may learn a thing or two as well. So let's get started. Um, right here, I'm just going to show you your site window actually is what GoLife creates this dot site file and this file can as far as I know can only be opened by GoLive there may be some out there application that can open it but I know Dreamweaver can't um, so it's a GoLive exclusive file this dot site file I'm just gonna grab that and I'm gonna drag it into GoLive and I'm gonna minimize my Explorer window and what opens is the site window and the site window is all the files that have to do with your site. Now, all these files are actually stored right over here in the web content folder. Okay, so I just double click the web content folder and you can see it's an exact mirror of our site window here. We've got our CSS folder and our index.html HTML file. Okay, so that's kind of important to know. But here's something that's even more important to know. Even though, like I can right click here and say new, new folder, and let's just name this folder new stuff. Actually, let me do that in all lowercase. New stuff. And I hit enter. And now when I switch back over to go live, you're going to see. I'm going to hit the refresh button up here. I have a folder here that is new stuff. Okay. So it looks like, hey, I could just work in here and swap files around, move stuff around. Well, the real answer is no, you can't. And I highly, highly uh, recommend that you don't. And the reason is because when you start moving HTML pages around or you start moving images that are linked to HTML pages and things like that around they are not automatically updated I'm going to delete this folder here by the way um, but when you work here in go live site window everything is automatically updated all of your links are automatically updated and that's very helpful when you have many many images linked to a page or many many hyperlinks going out of a page or anything like that um, Go Live will automatically update that stuff as you move your files around in and out of folders or anything like that. Whereas if you're working in Explorer mode, it's not. And that's important because if your images aren't linked up properly, you'll just have no images show up on your page. You know, when you, your links out will not work. I'm going to select this little refresh button up here again. So, could, so Go Live site window gives me those up-to-date information about my little file structure going on in here, and. Go Live also has this little column in here called status, and status basically is just going to give you a status of that page. Okay, this index.html page has a check because it's it's working, it's fine. If you select anywhere and you right click and hit new and hit HTML page, and I'm just going to name this new page, hit enter, it's going to give us this little status of this guy digging. Okay, a construction worker digging, and that just means the page is under construction. You haven't done anything to it yet you can change that status if it's bothering you just by going into the page and dragging like an image placeholder into it or typing any word and then you just have to save it by hitting command or control s and it will save it and then you can close that okay and it is showing a this bug now and the reason it's showing that bug in this case there are many reasons it can show this bug let me just say I could do an entire tutorial on why this bug shows up and when it shows up and how to get rid of it because it can be very frustrating when this little bug shows up and you don't know how to get rid of it. But the reason that little bug is showing up is because there's a broken link, and that broken link, matter of fact, if you roll over, yeah, it says contains one or more invalid links. The invalid link is this image. There's no link to it, okay? Nothing is linked to it. So don't worry about that. We're going to right-click on this, and we're going to say delete. And it's going to ask us if we want to move it to the site trash. We're going to say yes. We're going to talk a little bit about the site trash in just a minute. But... What we're going to do is look at the site window a little bit more in depth. The site window, as you can see, is broken into these two sub-windows you can think of them as. One being the local window and the other being the server side. Now, when people talk about the local side, they're talking about your hard drive. And as I just showed you, this over here is right here on your hard drive. Okay, I can access these by going under my web content folder here. All these files are stored on my hard drive. Over here would be the files that are on your server, the server that publishes everything to the internet, okay, to the web. There's nothing there right now because I'm not connected to the server, and there's nothing on the server. 
Um, but that's irrelevant because I'm not even connected to the server. If anything was on the server, I still wouldn't be able to tell because I'm not connected. Um, now, whenever you bring files into Go Live, excuse me, <laughs> almost said Illustrator. Whenever you bring files into Go Live, you're going to drag them into this side of the window, okay? Because there you can work with them, you can move them around, you can move them into folders and all sorts of good stuff to organize yourself. And then you can then select files and upload the files you want to, okay? So, one other thing you can do in the site window is. If these are a little bit tough to see, you can come down here to view, and you can view them as large icons, or you can view them as thumbnails, or you can even view them as tiles. Okay. Personally, I like to work in details mode, okay, because that gives you the status, that tells you whether or not the page is locked, the size, the URL, you know, file name. There's all kinds of information it gives you because it's the detail mode. Okay. Now. One other thing you're going to want to do is be able to create HTML pages. I showed you already how to create HTML pages by right-clicking and hitting New HTML Page. Um, using this New uh, command, you can also add new folders. Documents, when you hit Document, it's going to bring up the New dialog box, by the way. And you can create CSS, text documents, uh, GIF, JPEG, PNG images. You can also add files. And when I select this, it's going to bring up my Explorer window for my hard drive. I'm actually going to show you a different way to add files to your site that's a little bit faster. Um, but this basically, what it's going to do is bring up your site, or your, excuse me, your Explorer window and allow you to drop files into your site window. But there's actually a faster way to create HTML pages. I'll touch back on adding files in a minute. You can go in here to add HTML page, but if you have the site window selected, oops, make sure you're in the files tab. If you have the site window selected, you come up here to this toolbar, which changes based on what you have selected, but if you have this selected, it has all of this stuff. You can select this, create new page button, and it creates a new HTML page. And we can just name this, let's name it contact. I keep spelling it wrong, and with capitals. <laughs> there we go, contact. And we got our little construction man thing, but let's not worry about him. And we will create a second page, and let's name this one news.html. Okay? So we've got contact index and news.html. Now, we want to also add some files. I'm going to come over here into my Explorer window and go up, go up, and come over here to images. And I have these three images, which are actually thumbnails from three photos of the week. But basically what you want to do, locate the files on your hard drive, click them, and drag them right into GoLive. Now, look at this. If you remember, this is still my hard drive. So I'm just moving these files to another part of my hard drive, but not really, because the files are still here. So I'm not moving them, I'm copying them. Go Live is automatically copying them into a second place on the hard drive. Watch this. These are here. Now, if I come back over to my site and my web content folder, I have these three images here. Okay, those are the same three images right there that we just copied over. So that's. A very cool thing about Go Live is that we'll automatically copy them so you don't have to worry about holding control or anything like that when you drag images in. Um, I'm also going to drag in whoops, an AI file, which is basically this is just a blank AI file, but I'm just clicking and dragging as well, and it drops it right in there. Okay, if we come back over to web content, there's that AI file. So, once you have some files in here, chances are you're going to want to start organizing them. You can do this by right-clicking and hitting New Folder, or a faster way up in the toolbar, there's also a Add New Folder button. And when you do it that way, you get the name is automatically highlighted so you can rename it. And I'm going to name this one Images. Generally, when I'm working on a site, I like to keep all my images under a root folder or a base folder, the folder that contains all of my images. Name that Images. Okay. So what I'm going to do is select Image 1. And I can click and drag it into the images folder. But, whoops, that just drags one image. If I want to do multiple images, you can just hold down the command or control key and select multiple images. Then click and drag the, just click and drag as if you're dragging one and drop it over the images folder and it will drop them in there. All right, I'm going to create one more folder and just name it AI. And I'm just going to click and drag that AI folder, or that AI file, excuse me, right into there. Now, if you noticed, when I clicked and dragged the file, I'm going to take these three images back out of this folder, and you can do that by I just shift, I clicked on the top one, held down the shift key, and clicked the bottom one. You click and drag them and drop them out here, outside of the folder. 
and it should take them out of the folder, but it's not. So I'm going to... Come on. There we go. And I'm going to select these again, and when I move over that folder and I stay over for a long period of time, you're going to see it brings me inside of that folder. Okay? Well, instead of clicking this little plus, or on the Mac OS 10, it is a little arrow there, by the way. Instead of clicking this plus to view these files, I can just double click that folder, and it brings me right inside of it. And I can get out of that folder by hitting the little go up button right here. Okay? So that's a nice little helpful thing to know. Um, now, usually you would just use a little plus, minus, or arrow uh, icons here. Unless you have a huge amount of files in here, then sometimes it helps to be able to just double click, get into it. Same thing with the AI file folder. Now, let's say I have this AI folder and I don't want it anymore, but I might want it in the future. Well, you can actually delete files in two different ways in Adobe Go Live. You can right click and hit delete, and notice that it doesn't say, do you want to delete this? It says, or do you want to move it to the site trash? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say yes. And we haven't really deleted that file, even though we said delete. We actually haven't deleted the file, because it, over here under the extras tab, we have site trash. And over here, we have this .ai folder, okay? And we can click and drag this back in if we want it later on, okay? And it's going to give us a little question mark status, but not for long, as you can see, okay? That is helpful because if you think you might need a file, you can just dump it in the site trash, but you can always go back and get it. Now, if you definitely want to get rid of something, like all of this junk here, you can click that, right click on it, and hit delete again, and it just gets rid of it all together. It doesn't even ask you, are you sure you want to get rid of this? It just gets rid of it because it's already in the site trash. So that's the way you permanently delete stuff, but you temporarily delete it by throwing it over here into the site trash, and that is located under the extras tab on the server side of the site window. One other thing about the site window is you can't hit this little flyout menu and switch it off split view, okay? And that means you'll just get your hard your hard drive uh, view, um, which is the local side. This view can be toggled on off by using this little button right down here in the lower left-hand corner. That's really the fast way, okay, instead of using the flyout menu. That's the fast way to get it to pop in and out. Um, a few other things, if I can recall, there's a few other things I wanted to go over. Oh, yes. <laughs> when you are working on a site, two last things here. A new thing to go live CS2 is the search box. Remember, all you need for the search box is part of a file name. I remember that I have a file in here and it has the letters I and M in it, you know, right next to each other, obviously, but I don't remember the full file name. So I'm going to type I am and watch what it does. When I let it sit here, it brings up my images folder, IMG1, IMG2, and IMG3. Okay, And chances are, if you're correct, one of these files is going to work for you. So you're going to double click on it and use it. But if none of these work for you, you can just hit this little black X, and it's going to bring you back to regular file viewing mode. Okay, And another thing is, after working on your site for a while, you're going to want to save it. You can come here to File, Save, or you can just Command or Control S, but... The, the way you know your site has to be saved is this little asterisk that shows up next to the name. If you're using Mac OS X, you have your little red, green, yellow uh, circular buttons up here. The red one over to the far left is going to have a darker spot in it when a file needs to be saved. So that's how you know you need to save it. If I Command or Control S, right there, the asterisk goes away and the file is saved. And last but not least, you want to be able to use the files that you bring into here, and the way you do that is with any HTML page, you simply double click it to open it up. And there you go, you've opened your first HTML page, and you're ready to start linking images and all sorts of other fun stuff, and you're well on your way to creating your first website in Go Live. So that's it on the site window. I hope you've gained an understanding of how to use the site window, what it's about, uh, the things you can do with it how much of a help it's going to be, and actually it's going to be even more of a help beyond what I explained today. I just kind of touched on uh, how to organize yourself using the site window, but really the basics of the site window, and it'll really give you a good, firm foundation, get you started using Go Live, get you started using the stuff that's really good inside Go Live. And as always, I hope you learned something from it, and hope you go check out the site. That is www.tutvid.com, spelled T-U-T-V-I-D.com. 
Lots of other great stuff on the site. And until next time, I'll see you around.